Here we here we go guys, another YouTube uh, gun review and my thoughts on this highly recommended uh, Marlin 3030 rifle. And here this is uh I recently took this uh this out hunting and and I was amazed on how accurate it was. And the the one what it really suits me um, I'm a smaller guy and th this these rifles are you know they're really lightweight um, they're they're not too long so they're kind of it's real comfortable me shooting this and we went to, we and it's great it's a great hunting rifle especially the 3030 cartridge um, it, it's good for you know maybe some hog hunting some deer hunting um, this one is this one you can mount a scope on it. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Can, you can, you know, you get a Picatinny rail and put it on there with a scope. I'm not gonna do that. I, I like, I like the way these look with, with the iron sights, and they shoot extremely accurate with the iron sights. So, I mean, I'm not really looking to mount anything on this one. The only thing I'm gonna do to this one, this one is an older model, and it was actually, I actually traded a. A 380 pistol. I, I think it was like a Bursar, some, some some pistol that was I got really cheap and I wasn't too big of a fan of it. And the guy um, that I got it from, he wanted a pistol for home protection, and he said any pistol he'll trade this his Marlin for. And I thought it was a, a good deal, a, a good trade, and I needed a, a a rifle to do a little hunting with. Now the only thing I am gonna do this one is this uh the butt pad here on the back stock it's gonna it's really rough i'm gonna go ahead and switch that one out this is the original marlin uh marlin butt pad there i'm gonna switch that one out for maybe uh, a different one something that's a little bit more padded it'll help uh, with the recoil even though this this i've barely even felt the recoil when i was shooting this thing i mean it's amazing amazing uh rifle but I'm going to add that for more comfortability uh, when it's on the shoulder out there to be a little bit more comfortable. That's the only thing. I'm going to do a little bit of refinish work on this because it does show. I don't know if you guys can can even see that. But it shows some small signs of rust inside and a little bit on the outside where the trigger is. It shows a little bit of signs of rust. So it does. I'm probably going to do a little refinish work and... Um, Toss it up. The the wood, the wood is in is in really good condition and it has very very few uh, dings and uh, scratches on it. So I'm happy with that. And these shoot flawlessly, man. I mean, I, I really was expecting a lot, something a lot different. I mean, I thought this was going to be, you know, a high recoil, you know, something that wasn't going to be uh, comfortable shooting. And then again, this is my first rifle, so when I actually went out there, I was amazed on how what a what a breeze it was to shoot and how comfortable it was. Now these Marlins, I mean, they are popular. They're not too expensive, but I mean, they are. This one has a dull. The sights are up on this one. I mean, it's, it's just great. I mean, I can hold it with one hand comfortably. Now this is the 3030. They come chambered in uh, 44, and they come chambered in other other calibers. But this one here, the 3030, is a very old cartridge, and it's a great hunting cartridge. Nowadays, I mean, they had a couple problems nowadays with the ammos. They, you know, at 200 yards, the 3030, the the older ones. I mean, that's that's usually their effective range, but. When I was traded this, I was also traded like four boxes of Remington ammo. I mean, but it was really old. The boxes were all faded and stuff like that. But I went out there with that ammo and it worked fine. But I wasn't shooting all the way up to 200 yards. Now, they got some new uh, Flex Point uh, Lev Levolution 3030s that they're more, they, they, they're they just a whole lot better than the older ammo. The older ammo tend to have a, a drop point. At around a, a, almost you know around a hundred and something, maybe about two hundred yards. I mean, they start becoming accurate. 
But uh, this one's this one really doesn't have too many uh, features. It's a real basic one. It has a gold-plated trigger. And your good old-fashioned uh, lever-action uh, cowboy rifle. So, I mean, this was... I'm kind of making this as a re video response after I saw Such's uh, video. I'll put, I'll put him in the annotations. If you guys don't, don't know Such, you guys need to check him out because he's a really good uh, gear reviewer. So this one's going to be a video response to him. And just you guys, if you guys are thinking about a Marlin 3030, I highly, highly recommend it. Awesome rifle. Please uh, subscribe and comment. I'll be there to answer them, man. I'm there all day. So thanks.